Does your guitar have at least one volume and tone control? If so, you have infinite tonal power! When I was growing up learning how to play guitar, it became popular to disable an electric guitar's tone control and in some cases disable the guitar's volume control in a quest to get purer tone. And even more recently, I've seen certain artist signature guitars that are either missing a tone control or maybe a tone and a volume control just for that straight signal path from guitar to amp. But what I have found out over the years is that it is extremely beneficial to have both volume and tone controls on your guitar to allow you to create a very flexible set of tones without having to adjust your amplifier or any of your effects. So let's see what I am talking about. Here is my tone with the volume and tone controls of this guitar turned all the way up. All right, kind of a crunchy t sound, isn't it? Now, I could use a two-channel amp, right? And I could switch between channels to get clean and dirty, or I can just roll the volume control down a little bit. might be saying, well, Bill, it's still a little bit dirty. And you're right, it is still a little dirty, but that's actually a good thing because as you roll the volume control down, you don't really change the overall tonality of the sound of your guitar and amp or amp modeler uh, in my case. <laughs> Hear how it still sounds like the same tone? All right, that is the volume control. The tone knob, yeah, the tone knob, in my view, does not take away from the purity of the guitar's tone. It simply changes, introduces a change in the tonality that you can leverage. So again, this is the signal with the tone knob all the way up, in other words, at 10. Now, if I roll it all the way down to zero, yeah, I, you're really changing the tonality of your sound by rolling off that tone control, in particular, when you have a dirty sound. And if you've been hanging out here on the channel, you probably have heard me say multiple times that when I play lead lines for almost all of my sounds, I roll that tone knob all the way down. Here's a little grittier sound just to illustrate what I mean. Yeah, I really like that a lot. It's kind of that honky mid-range thing. But if I roll the tone knob all the way up, I've got a lot of flexibility there, and if I roll it kind of in the middle, So that's the basic technique. It's pretty simple, isn't it? Just moving the volume and tone knobs. What I'd like to do now is play some lines and chords with a delay pedal and show you what you can do as you manipulate the volume and tone controls. So I'm gonna start off with the volume knob at about, ooh, about six and the tone knob at about four. And let's just, let me just do it and we'll see what happens.
a short demonstration of just some of the tonal range you can achieve with a volume knob and a tone knob on your guitar. Do you have thoughts about this? I'd love to hear them. Drop a comment below. Also, if you've not yet subscribed to Chords of Orion, I would be pleased and honored if you would do so. And I will see all of you on the next video.